Welcome to this tutorial where we are gonna review label printing using the document routing layouts. The document routing layouts are usually used to support basic layout capabilities with a set of specific fields. In this session, we will review the process and the required configurations of managing license plate printing using the document routing layouts. So we will learn how to define the label layout and the required information by configuring the document routing layouts, then how to specify the order types that trigger the label printing, and how to set selection criteria from the available layouts using the document routing. In this demonstration, I'll configure a license plate label for the purchase order receiving process. I'll start by the document routing layouts so we can define the label layout. I'll navigate to the warehouse management module, setup, document routing, then document routing layouts. I'll define a new layout, so I'll click new and I'll give it a name like standard PO. This will be the standard template that will be used for the license plate printing as part of the purchase order receiving process. Here in this section, I'll paste the ZBL code lines. This code could be generated from any software that is used to design ZBL labels, and this code will be converted to a readable label after the printing process. Here we notice between the lines that we have some placeholders that will be replaced during the printing process, by the license plate information so for example here we have a placeholder that is called printed date this placeholder is used to determine when the license plate has been printed we have another one that represents the license plate id and when it comes to the item information here we have two placeholders one for the item id and the other one for the item name or description you can add placeholders from the fields that are available here in the left pane, then move it to the target place between the ZBL code lines. So here, for example, in the ZBL code lines, here I have uh, something that represents the purchase order ID. So here in the left pane, let's search for the order number. Here, this is the field that represents the order number. I'll select this field, then I'll click here, insert at end of text. Then here I'm gonna copy this value. This is the placeholder value. Then I'll replace this code. Then click save. Now let's configure the document routing. The document routing is used to determine when the labels should be printed in terms of the order types. So, for example, we can say the labels should be printed with the purchase order receiving and or the production put away and so on. The document routing is also used to determine the label layout that should be used. I'll navigate to the warehouse management module, setup, document routing, then document routing. First, we shall specify the work order type that is used. In this example, we're going to select purchase orders. I'll define a new document routing, so I'll click new, then I'll give it a name like standard PO layout. Like the other warehouse management forms, the document routing form is managed by the sequence number. That means the document routing that has the lowest number will be applied first. We can use the overview tab to determine when this document routing should be used. So in this example, we're going to select here warehouse. 50 and we can also limit it to a specific user maybe account number and the account number here is the vendor number the account number could be used with the purchase sales and return orders we can limit it to a specific carrier work template or probably range of zones we can also apply logical uh, condition by using the edit query so we can make this document routing applicable for a specific item or vendor group when it comes to apply the edit query logic then we must enable this option run query otherwise the values that we specified here in the overview tab are only applied then here in the document routing printers are 
click new then i'm gonna select here the printer local zpl printer then i'm gonna select the layout that we just defined standard po then i'll click save last thing i'll ensure that the mobile device menu item is enabled for the printing so i'll navigate to the mobile device menu item here i'm using the purchase order item receiving menu item usually in the inbound process labels are printed after the receiving process and before the put away action so here i'll ensure that the print label option is enabled Now let's preview the license plate label of a purchase order receiving. I've created this purchase order for this item and here we can see the quantity 100 each, which is one bullet. I'm gonna copy the purchase order ID, then I'll move to the warehouse management mobile application order to receive this item. So through the inbound menu item, I'll select purchase order item receiving, then I'm gonna specify the purchase order ID here then scan the item number specify the quantity which is 100 click ok gonna confirm here we have the document routing agent is open and i'll navigate to the virtual license plate and here we can see our label so here we can see the license plate uh, barcode the item number item description the quantity and the unit of measure vendor information like the vendor account and vendor name and here we have barcode for the purchase order and when the license plate is printed